Hey everybody, welcome to my suburban oasis. It is super rainy, windy, and cold outside today. And so we are heading to the greenhouses in Kalamazoo. That's a town that's about, or a city that's about an hour and a half southwest of my house. And it's a really nice place because they have tons of greenhouses where they do lots of growing, where they ship things off to the nurseries around us. But we're going to stop at some local nurseries there and garden centers and see what they have for the spring. If you haven't followed me before, my name is Soleil and I garden in a zone 5B in mid-Michigan. And Kalamazoo is also the home of Western Michigan University, where we'll be joining up with my niece, Rio, and we'll be taking a family trip together. All right, let's check it out. Welcome to River Street Flower Market. Isn't this gorgeous? Look at all of the beautiful hellebores. I am so excited to see these. It just makes my heart beat a little bit faster. There's so many different varieties here. I was hoping to find some. This was one of the things that was on my list today. Well, let's take a look and see what we have. We have pink in Paris and oh my gosh, look at that price, $16.99. These are a good deal. I am going to put this one in my cart and I may get some others as well. Oh boy, okay, these are absolutely gorgeous. Just look at the foliage on these. This one is Frost Kiss Pennies Pink. So tall, it still has some buds on it and everything. These are in really good shape. Also $16.99, it looks like uh, most of these are $16.99. That's a really good deal. I just bought some recently for more than that, for sure. And this is a local greenhouse, so it's great to be able to support them. Look at the deep, dark blooms on this one. Oh, this is Anna's Red. Gorgeous. Let's see what else they have here. Ivory Prince. Oh, I have this one already in my garden. $13.99. Yeah, this one's probably been around for um, more years, so uh, it's been bred uh, more frequently, so it's probably a little bit less expensive because of that. Wow, these are right by the front door right when you walk in. They are very, very enticing, aren't they? This Pretty in Pink is part of a honeymoon series, and I have gotten some other ones. I got some last year through mail order, and I planted those last year in my garden, and they're beautiful. So, yeah, I think that uh, these kind of look great in my garden. So hard to decide when there's so many of them sitting here. And quite a few different varieties and we have the dark foliage we have some of the lighter foliage we have really deep dark blooms and we have some of the lighter blooms and I really like to have a mix of both because they definitely offset each other like I wouldn't want to have all of the red or the dark or all of the light colors um, but man look at this one Dorothy's Dawn Really, really pretty. That's more of a pink color. Definitely a good range of variety here. And I love the, the white ones. They are edged with some pink here. This one is called Moon Dance. Gorgeous. And look at next to them, they have some other beautiful winter blooming plants. These are Heathers. $9.99 for a double play color here, red and white. Now, it looks like they're setting up for some topiary workshops here. Very cool. Um, they're stuffing these topiaries with moss. I can't wait to show you some, uh, some more of these topiary forms. 
the wow look at all of these succulents lots of really beautiful house plants this is an alocasia right here silver velvet i think it's called Look at these succulents, holy moly, extra large succulents, $11.99. These are bigger than my hand. These are gorgeous. Wow, beautiful colors. So many different varieties of cactus and succulent along here. And then they have an amazing variety of pots, all sorts of different colors that would be perfect for Easter and springtime or gifts to cheer people up. And then some gorgeous outdoor planters. These are beautiful. This is a gorgeous pot, very big, $139 for this one. That's a pretty fair price. So, so many different ones to choose from. Glazed pots, terracotta pots, colorful pots, muted pots, lots of wind chimes, and these are different. These are not gazing balls. I don't know what you would call these, but they're beautiful. Like you could hang these from trees or they'd be sparkly. Now here is a huge lineup of topiaries, which they have stuffed with moss, and you can come in for these workshops on the weekend and sign up for them. You can buy these topiaries. We have lions and all sorts of jungle animals, elephants. When you sign up for the workshops, they come pre-stuffed and then you have the opportunity to plant them up and they teach you how to actually do that. Look, they have storks and birds. Here's some pictures of some that have been worked on in the past. Such a unique kind of art plant sculpture piece for your garden and the succulents are really pretty when they're used like this. They have chickens and turtles and tortoises. Just about any animal that you can think of. It's amazing. Look at this cute little turtle. Isn't that adorable? Aw, so cute. Here we have some other pictures of some finished products things that people have put together in the past. We got some frogs. And the prices go from kind of lower, like in the $40 and uh, up through hundreds and hundreds of dollars for the larger ones. Oh, this frog has a little crown on it, just like a prince. I love it. And then next to it we have the snail and they used the string of pearls and curled it around in a spiral for the snail. See that one's $100, $99. So they aren't cheap but they certainly will last a really really long time and I was asking them about these and they say that the moss lasts for about four years so you stuff it really really full and uh, you can keep them hydrated and keep everything going. Oh look my niece found some miniatures. Oh, it's a squirrel with a little barbell. <laughs> Look at this, it's all sorts of fairy garden little supplies for it. A miniature house. You can just imagine some little elves or some little fairies living in those. This one is super adorable. I love the leaves on the top. Some little gnomes and mushrooms. This one is... $38. It's made out of resin, so I'm sure it will last a really long time. Pretty weatherproof, it seems. And lots of little cute miniature animals, just about any kind you could imagine, from turtles and butterflies to unicorns and fairies and owls. Oh, look at this little trellis back here. That's super cute. I like that. That's very unique. They only have one of these. $20. That might have to come home with me. That would look really cute on top of a little pot. 
quite a few different faces here in terms of planting. We have some felt birdhouses. These are like handmade felt birdhouses. Super cute. One's got a little hummingbird on it, I think. Those are pretty. Oh, look at these. I think these are called like peace posts or something like that. You see people making them in gardens uh, in a lot of different places, especially community gardens. Those we love don't go away. So like in memory of people, always in our hearts. These are really cool. And these are made out of, I don't know, some type of like resin or plastic that's all weather. So it definitely would last a really long time. $59. Those would make a, a neat uh, present for someone. Cute little cat metal sculpture here. That's very unique. Reminds me of something you might see at an art fair. And they have pansies. Lots of different colors of pansies here. Very bright and cheery for sure. Some spider plants. Ooh, look at this serpent back here, this dragon. That's an interesting topiary form if you had a Chinese garden or a Japanese garden or something like that. Some beautiful cactuses. This one's starting to get a bloom. Oh my goodness, look at that. Wow, look at the colors. So bright. Mine, mine blooms at Christmas, at Thanksgiving, at Easter, several, several times a year for sure. And they're very, very easy to care for. Looks like we have some other little bird feeders over here. Look at this spider plant, lots of babies. Some little hay rack baskets. Those are on sale for $20 each. Well, that's a pretty good deal. I don't think I'm going to buy any more hay racks, though, ever. I don't really like having to replace the liner. Look at this beautiful mirror. It's very, like, Mexican-inspired, I think. Gorgeous. That'd be nice hanging on a fence or at the end of a walkway. Reflects some light back at you in a shady area. Here's some pretty lanterns. Now they seem like these are meant to go outside, but they seem kind of thin. I don't know, but they're, they're really pretty. Crazy metal art. I have some gloves on the sale rack here, but they all look like they are size extra large. Need some people with big hands to come through this store. Ooh, look at the rosemary. You can smell it even before you touch it. Chef Jeff's rosemary. Yum. One of my favorite herbs. It just smells so good. Here we have some gorgeous ranunculus. It's kind of a yellowy orange. Beautiful, deep pink. I can't believe it. They say that they're $8.99, and I feel like that's about how much I paid for a whole bunch of Forms. I think I have like 20 of these. I didn't realize they sell the uh, finished varieties for so much. Mine are coming along good. These Gerber daisies are pretty. All sorts of different colors. Oh, look at these streptocarpus. Wow, bicolor blooms on this. Every time I see these, it reminds me of being in a conservatory. I feel like I always see them there and just am in awe, but they do require, you know, a certain type of care, and I haven't ever been really good at keeping these alive. 
so pretty. I like that pink one a lot. And they're all gorgeous. Okay, this is a weird looking plant. I don't even know what this is. It's cute. Kind of reminds me of bunny tails, bunny tail grass. Lots of pots for sale on, on the uh, sale table. Marked down. This one looks a little like a teacup almost. A little black and white with a saucer, very cute. Hmm, I've never seen these kangaroo paws before. Tropical splash. These are a little fuzzy and kind of bright colors. Those are interesting. I'm not sure what you would use them for exactly. Maybe just an interesting uh, plant to have. And a whole table full of primroses. I may have to grab a couple of these as well. Well, here we are at the Winky Greenhouse. They have a Ferris wheel out front with buckets of flowers to greet you. Isn't that cute? I don't know if these are vincas or pansies in here, but when those start to spill over the edges of the buckets, that will look so pretty. They have definitely a different feel here, a little bit more on the fancy side, like kind of Victorian type. Uh, structures here with look at these hydrangeas all sorts of colors that very deep dark purple there I don't think I've ever seen that before and this greenhouse has just about anything you could ask for in terms of fertilizer uh, all of the different types of espoma here and bonide some garden art over here those are really pretty. And some Buddha statuary. Mm, look at this fun guy with his arms up in the air. He looks happy. Any type of spray that you could need and fertilizer that you could need, I mean, they are all here. Every kind of tone that you could ever desire. Plenty of other gardening supplies. It looks like they have quite a few annuals here so far already. Lots of ranunculus. These are yellow ones. And I love these fancy geraniums. Aren't these gorgeous? I love the color on those. Also called pelargoniums here. In uh, America we call them uh, geraniums as well even though they're technically not geraniums we have some sweet potato vines several different colors and they're starting to put out some of their petunias here lots of different colors of those now in zone 5 you could buy these up but not not a great time to put them out quite yet when the temperatures are above 45, that's a, that's a good time to put them out when they stay that way overnight. Same with these snapdragons. They can take it a little bit colder. They can take some frost. <laughs> but they definitely don't like to freeze. So if you see greenhouses with these type of flowers, just be prepared that you might have to bring them in at night. Or you might have to give them a little bit more protection if you don't have a greenhouse or a cold frame outside. Look at this beautiful double petunia. It's a little dwarf one. Veranda Compact Sugar Plum. I like that a lot. Lots of fancy petunias over here. African daisies. These are pretty. Some 
really bright in Amnesia. That's a very sunny color. Sunshine. It is very sunny. That's what it's called. Sunshine. And there's some really bright Gerber daisies here. Orange and yellow and red. All the colors of sunshine. Sunny spring, this one's called. And more pansies, just about any color that you could want here. They do grow a lot of annuals and put them out here. And look at the pretty tulips. So they have pre-made pots of tulips that you could just buy and set out. Very pretty. nice azalea there. Some mums. Mums definitely bring some nice spring color if you have them in the right, um, you know, light pastel colors. They definitely look like spring too. This azalea is beautiful. Oh, look at these weeping pussy willow trees. These are like miniature weeping pussy willow trees. Oh, I wish I could keep things outside in the wintertime in pots. Those would look so pretty out there. Some more hydrangeas. Lots of pots also plenty of ceramic pots i think these are probably the frost proof kinds so you can put them outside and they can stay out over winter as long as you put them up on you know some some pot toes or something to ensure that they have really good drainage and when they freeze they don't have too much water in them that can help prevent them from cracking but always make sure that you check before you buy something and spend a lot of money on it because it can be very disappointing if you spend a boatload and then it cracks. My, my, look at this huge, huge cactus. I think those are agaves and then some aloes and other succulents. Those have got to be pretty old to get that big. Some more pots, some that are urns, plastic ones as well, lots of terracotta and basalt clay pots here. These look really nice. You don't always get to see those in such large sizes. I really like this color, especially for house plants for some reason. Here we have some bugle weed that is in flower already. Lots of different kinds, including the little chocolate chip variety that I have, and just the regular old ajuga. Some ivy, variegated and non-variegated. Some iris moss. Lots of different ground covers, vinca. We even have a little bit of creeping flax here. That one looks a little bit worse for the wear right now, I don't know. Some hens and chicks and lots of different kinds of sedum here. Whole row of it. Different colors and different sizes. These make really nice ground covers. They're drought tolerant. Um, they do prefer to be in full sun and really nice draining soil, but they can tolerate some shade as well. I've been surprised when I've tried them in some part shade areas. This one's cute. I can't read that tag very well. We have some vines here, some honeysuckles, and some clematis. The Rouge Cardinal clematis. That's a pretty color. Look, this one's really, really dark purple. That's pretty. 
be nice up against like a white fence or something. This one's pretty. It looks like it's a double or triple. A sow? A-S-A-O? I don't know what that... I've never heard of that one before. But look at all of the petals on that. That's gorgeous. Lots more house plant plants. Uh, pots. We have these cute little faces. I've been seeing this um, variety in a lot of places that we've been to in different sizes. It's cute. I think I saw one of these at the nursery back home. And we have some macrame hangers here. Along with some cute little animal pots. Zebras and sheep and even hippos. We've got some hedgehogs and some burrows and some giraffes. Llamas. Just about any kind of variety that you want. Some heads that you can plant into. Those are always fun to play with what what you want to turn into their hair, whether you want to make a spiky plant or you want to make one that uh, is a trailing plant for longer hair. Several different choices for that. They even have really teeny tiny ones. So that one's $12.99. Alright, well, let's get into uh, Waddell's now. This is Waddell's, and they are a garden center, also in Kalamazoo, and they have some pretty stuff in the houseplant section here. Pretty fairy sculptures. Some really good looking uh, snake plants. Look at this, I've not seen this before. These are the Bonsal Fingers uh, snake plants and it has a bloom on it. Look how tall that is. You don't see those in bloom very often. It's pretty unique to see. That's a Deffenbachia. We have another beautiful statue here by some peace lilies. That was pretty. Oh, some more alocasia. Look at these. Those are gorgeous. And some Hoya Hindu rope. This one must be fairly old. It's definitely grown quite long. They remind me a little bit of dreadlocks when I see them. They're so pretty and rumply. We have some Calathea here. some pretty houseplant pots here as well. Oh, I like this one. This one actually has a flower actually on the pot. We have some ficus teneki. This is the one that I have. And then it looks like back here they have another one that is the ruby version. So it turns that pink ruby color. That's pretty. Some old man cactus. Those are always fun with the funny little white hair. We have some baskets, some hanging baskets, and some plant stands. So these are always nice to put underneath of your pots to help with that drainage that I was talking about before. Always good to have. Looks like up here we have some really giant bottle terrariums. I've seen some people put those together and they look so cool. Have a nice indoor section here where they have some outdoor pillows and furniture. These are some pretty watering cans. Let's see how much those are. Oh, $42.99. Well, I could do without another watering can at that price. 
All right, well, outdoors, they have some Gerber daisies. They have some hostas already and ferns and forsythias and rhododendrons and hydrangeas. I mean, this, this place is full of spring color right now. Lots of coleus, huge, like fully grown already. You could buy those and make a whole bunch of cuttings. Look at this wall of hellebores. So many different kinds here. Let's see how much they are here. $31.99. Well, I, that's about twice as much. Well, that's the moon dance one. That's one that I saw at uh, the River Street Flower uh, Market. And that was, uh, yeah, $16.99. So I guess if you're in Kalamazoo, get your hellebores at River Street. Some pretty hookahs here. What else do we have? These forsythias are just stunning in bloom. And some uh, branches of pussy willow that you could pick up. Lots of daffodils in bloom here. These small ones, though, they look like they've already kind of gone over. The tulips, though, are just getting ready to bloom, so you could still buy those and enjoy them for some time. Looks like they've brought all their concrete in for the winter. So lots of bird baths. Some bird houses, some different fountains. Here's a pretty redbud tree, it's in bloom. They've got all the spring blooms. It smells so good in here. Lots of pansies. I might have to take some of these home today. I love this color. We have yellow, which is very bright and cheery. And I also love this light blue color. It's definitely something you can see from very far away and it brightens up the corners. Oh, here's some more hellebores. These are pretty too. These look like these are by Monrovia. Ice and roses. Also $31.99. Here we have some others. Boy, they have a lot of selection of hellebores. $31.99 for all of these as well. We have some hanging baskets. We probably have to wait until May to put any of those outside though, so I don't know what's going on with that, but Look at these huge primroses. These are like gigantic. I've never seen them this big. And then here's the normal size next to them. Interesting. Well, I hope everybody enjoyed this video today, walking through some of the greenhouses in Kalamazoo, Michigan. We definitely started out with one of my favorite, River Street, and that flower land is so fantastic and great. I got some good purchases there, which I will show with you show you soon. We also went to the Wanky Greenhouse, and then we finally ended up at the garden center called Widell's. So that was a wonderful trip, all different colors, all different types of things, very different ambiences and very different selection. So if you're interested and you're in the west, uh, southwest area of Michigan, Kalamazoo has a ton of great greenhouses and garden centers to visit and you should stop by. Thanks again and we'll see you next time. Bye.